Let's take a look at the unique set of circumstances that resulted in the Kasumnus River flooding because that area in particular is unlike anything else in the state. Now this storm was also unusual as well. If you go back to early in the day when, when this started, Friday all the way up until almost nine o'clock at night, we had rain for the highest elevations. That's a lot of water all at once without any freezing. So it immediately goes to runoff. It works its way through the system. It essentially overwhelms some of the creeks. They go right to the river and the river keeps rising rapidly. Then you add in major heavy rain, which started on Saturday morning, which is New Year's Eve, and it was aimed almost entirely in that watershed in that zone. It just kept raining and raining and raining, even until the end when some of the cold air moved in in that spot. It was a lot of rain that turned into runoff and the river just kept rising. Now, this spot is very unique because if you go to any other river all across California, at some point, there is a dam, if not a couple dams along the way for flood control. They can do releases. They can hold some water back. Uh, but this one, there is no major dam along any of the major forks of the Kasumnus, the north, the middle, or the south. So that means anything that goes in is immediately going to go to the Kasumnus and then out to the McCallamy and then out to uh, the Sacramento River. So that means you can see really rapid rises without a whole lot of relief along the way. This was the second highest amount of flow we've seen in the Kasumnus River, uh, second only to 1997 where we had some major flooding. And along with this one, we definitely saw some flooding as well.